Hi everyone, Bob Black with Spider TV and RichmondSpiders.com. Welcome to our continuing summertime series as we introduce you to the new names and faces of spider basketball. Today it's women's basketball. We've got freshman Angel Burgos with us and it's a name and a face that may be familiar to many Richmond area fans because of course she comes from Trinity Episcopal right here in Richmond. Angel, thanks for spending a few minutes with us. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for having me. How's the transition going so far from Trinity to the University of Richmond? Um, it's definitely different so far, but it's not bad at all. Like it's, you know, I'm used to being in the area and I know the school pretty well before I came here. So it's been pretty easy overall. All right, one of the things that wasn't supposed to be different when you first committed, let's put that right on the table, is the coaching staff. Yeah. Uh, obvious change there with uh, uh, the change being made for the Spiders and Coach Roussel being in there now. Take us through that process and what that was like um, for you and what it's like now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, the change of the coaching staff was definitely a surprise, but when uh, Coach Roussel got hired, he made it a point to definitely like get to know me and Elena like right away mm -hmm. as soon as he got the job. And he even gave us uh, official visits per se, you know, we're from here, but you know, they took us out to eat and stuff and they kind of did a little recruiting process over again mm -hmm. and got to know us really quickly. So it was a smooth transition and overall I think that it was a good move for the program. How much did that help you that they paid that much attention to you guys? And I can remember Coach saying to us on his first day, the first calls I made were mm -hmm. to the two of you. Yeah, um, it calmed my nerves a lot that he did make it a point because I didn't want to come into the season uh, and my basketball coach kind of be a stranger. Mm -hmm. So him reaching out to us and like taking us out to eat and stuff with our families made it a lot easier. And you know, and I felt like I knew him already coming into it, practice and everything. So tell us a little bit about the practices that you've been able to have in the summertime and uh, so far what you've kind of gleaned from college basketball and Coach Roussel's style. Yeah, so what we've been doing is, you know, we lift uh, early in the mornings. We'll do conditioning on the football field. But specifically for me, we'll have team workouts with everybody. And then either maybe before or afterwards, it'll be a 45 minute. I'm with the guards mm -hmm. section. So it's maybe like four or five of us with the guards. And then so I'll work out with them after the team. And that's all we've been doing so far. Um, talk a little bit about the, the off the court side of this. Coaching change or no coaching change, you commit it to the University of Richmond, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Um, my commitment to the University of Richmond literally had nothing to do with basketball. It was more so like, one, I'm close to home, two, it's a really nice school, and then three, most importantly, the academic side of it. So like, it's not, you know, it's a nice like athletic program, you know, Everything's like pretty high class and then also you get good academics at the same time and close to home So it kind of had everything that I was looking for in a school. All right, you come from a tremendously winning High school program mm -hmm. and obviously, you know, we haven't won enough around here lately. We want to win more What can you bring to the table as someone who's been through what it takes to be a winner on the basketball court? Mm -hmm. um, one thing about me is I like to win like and I hate to lose so if my team if I'm playing out with this my new team Richmond you know and I'm running guard point guard whatever I'm gonna you know give the hundred percent every time just do my best to make sure we can win because one new coaching staff came that's their goal and also us as freshmen we should come in and try to make that our goal as well to win more games and um, I think I have I think what I'll bring is I have a good Court vision. I have really good court vision, so I can see all my teammates. I know who to pass the ball to. Where do you hope your game will be different or improved, being a college basketball mm -hmm. game, from what you just described as a high school player? Um, I think my number one weakness right now is three-point shooting. <laughs> <laughs> and with Coach Roussel, he's definitely not going to let that fly. Yeah. So I have no choice but to get better as a three-point shooter. And I'm not. I just in high school that never really was my job. You know, I was always doing what I had to do inside the paint and all that. So, um, but definitely with Coach Roussel, he wants us to catch and shoot. So that's what I'm gonna have to, I have no choice but to get better at that. Well, one of the reasons that you didn't have to do as much of that is because of one of the teammates who you, who you kind of brought along with yeah. you, Elena Chapman. And I know you committed first. Mm -hmm. Give us that backstory one more time. I know you've given mm -hmm. it a lot about how you made your commitment and then probably helped recruit her a little bit. Yeah, so I definitely, I committed probably like halfway through my junior year mm -hmm. and, um, so right after I committed, I actually told Elena the next day at school. I hadn't like announced it or anything else to anybody. And I just told her because I knew 
that that's somewhere she was looking at as well. And I, I had a feeling that she was going to do it, but I would always kind of like mention it to her and be like, oh, come on, like, you going to commit? Like, so yeah, I would just kind of mention it to her every day. And I think that it's really cool that from the number, we were the number one team in Richmond for the past two years and the top two players on the team. I think that's really cool that we came together and we can bring kind of our connection to this team. And I think it'll benefit them a lot. How do you describe your connection with her, both on and off the court, knowing that we're going to have a summertime series on Elena Chapman, and I'm going to ask her the same question mm -hmm. about you. Um, me and Elena's uh, connection off the court is, you know, we've always been friends since probably like the fifth grade. We've been playing on and off with each other. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, we played all through high school, but um, on the court, we have a connection. Like, Elena knows where I am at all times, and I know where she is, so she gets to rebound. You know, she knows where I am. I could be running down the floor, she's got me with outlet pass. I've got Elena running down the floor. I can throw a baseball pass and Elena's gonna catch it. So that's the kind of connection we have. I think we both know each other's game really well just from being around each other so much that we can kind of work around each other, even our weaknesses. We know how to balance each other out, mm -hmm. so. I know you don't know any different other than playing at home, but mm -hmm. what do you think it's gonna be like playing at home in the Robin Center for your collegiate career? Um, I'm actually really excited because all my family and friends are going to be playing. Mm -hmm. I mean, if I would have went somewhere out of state, that's kind of impossible. But like, I'm going to have <laughs> all my friends from school, family from all, all like all my family lives here. So uh, all my family is going to be here, I'm sure, for our first home game. And that's going to be really special. We can't wait to see and hear them in the Robin Center. We can't wait to watch you in the Robin Center. Angel, Thank thanks for spending some time. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for having me.